baseball fans and welcome. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go. And totally the slab in this one, Jared Jones. Yeah, he's definitely had a struggle so far this year, as evidenced by that inflated whip. But he's going to have to find a way to limit the base runners, put his team in a position to win a ball game. So we know he's prepared. We know this guy's a competitor. And we'll watch how he works in this one. Ready to go now. And now the right fielder, Corbin Carroll. A wind in the pitch. That one finds the zone. And that's how this game gets started. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Righty delivers. Headed down the line. Reynolds on the run. Couldn't get to it before it dropped foul. Left hand hitter waits. And down on strikes he goes. One gone here. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner. When with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way, you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Geraldo Perdomo now at the plate. He's been on fire at the dish lately. Hits in each of the last six games. Right side. McCutcheon brings it in. Two way down. Now the Diamondbacks line up as put together by Tori Lovello. One guy swinging a hot bat recently, Lourdes Goriel Jr. He's been a solid force for his team right now. Kind of a fire starter when you consider an on-base percentage over 400 over the last 10 games. That's solid, consistent work. He's making things happen for this offense right now. Cattell yep, Marte in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Wouldn't Two chase balls. that time. No, He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. And that is that. So one, two, three, go the Diamondbacks. And now the Pirates will get their first opportunity. No score. Major League Baseball is on the show. here with my pal Siggy and our pitcher tonight Jordan Montgomery Chris what should we keep an eye on here with him well no doubt about it he's going to have to put together some consistently good performances in order to bring that ERA down now he's got good stuff he's just got to be able to have confidence trusted and really go after hitters not nibble trusted his stuff can have late life and miss barrels of bats you'll want Ball oh, one there. Slam and a base hit. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his oh, hands. Oh, nice job of going. <laughs> Andrew McCutcheon to hit. Tons of pop. Right now he's third in the National League in homers. There's a swing and a drive. Thomas ranging back. Tap to the tater time. And gone. He flexes his power with that swing. And the Pirates take the lead. It's 2-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, boo. Aggressive and it paid off. Second, he brought it back out there too. Gave the great effort. Those plays are so tough to play. I'm sure he'd love to have another shot at it. Ryan Reynolds here. Enter.
entered the day with the best batting average in the National League. That clips the corner. It can be tough to bounce back oh, after one. a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Nobody out with a pair of runs across in the frame here in the second game of the series. Just oh. missed. And there's the strike. That misses the zone, and that's ball two. And he deals. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Throw to first, gets him. One away on a drop third strike. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Here's O'Neill Cruz. Comes into this one with the seventh best batting average in the NL. There's a strike. One out, base is empty. Foul ball. One that ball. one misses in the Two dirt. Strike. That's to third. Throws the first in time. We take a check of the Pirates lineup put together by manager Derek Shelton. And a big factor for them in recent games, Connor Joe. Yeah, definitely someone I always enjoy, you know, when I get a chance to watch him, whether he's hitting a game or even taking swings during batting practice. Man, this guy is always so focused on what he's doing on that task at hand. He's got so much attention to detail that when he steps in the box, his success rate is really high. Connor ball Joe one, no at strike. the plate now. That's ball one. And ball. that one almost got him. Two outs, bases empty. Out to short. Perdomo oh. on to first. That ends the frame. Cannonball coming. It's now a 2 nothing ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Second inning set to go. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Diamondbacks, Jack Peterson. Peterson, multi-time All-Star, batting in the cleanup spot. And though usually in left field, today he's the designated hitter. Oh, and they're going to tag the pitcher with a pitch clock violation. That's an automatic ball. The pitcher must begin his motion before the pitch timer runs out. We're looking for a little more urgency oh. out there. That's down and in. Oh, no. Some guys don't like not being able to play defense because it helps them to stay in the rhythm. So for him to be the DH, we'll see if he gets a whole team together. That one missed. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That's down. One hops off the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Come on, come on. Now here is Christian Walker. Seems like he's making contact with everything lately. Can make it a five-game hitting streak with a knock in this one. That 
one finds the zone. It's 0 1. Late on that fastball. Eric Summers Gill with home plate duty of this one. Kind of known for being generous with the corners, Chris. You know, I think that used to be a lot bigger deal in past eras where pitchers were working more in and out with their pitches. But, yeah, we'll see if those corners come into play in this one. Hey, no pitcher's going to argue at all. One out in the second. Here's Lourdes Gurriel, Jr. Fly ball to the outfield for a sack fly. Soft ground ball to the right side. Find a hole. He can attack this a few ways. But the one thing he can't do is strike out. The 1-0. -on. And that one is lifted in the air. Reynolds makes the grab. Runner tags for home. He's in on the sack fly. And they trail by one. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Now up next for Arizona, Eugenio Suarez. In for a strike, and it's 0-1. 0-1's the count. And a good eye there. One run across to the frame so far here at the top of the second. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Next to hit for Arizona, Alec Thomas. And that's off inside. the inside edge. 1-0. And, oh. ah. and there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Missed with a changeup. And it's 2-1. And, and he grounds one to the right side. Paguero. That's out oh. number three. One run, a pair of hits, no errors, and one left on. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Pirates two, and the Diamondbacks one. We head to the bottom of the second, and now the center fielder, Jack Solinsky. The pitch. There's a strike. Yeah, there's a ball. The 1-1. One, one. And he's swinging to miss. One ball, two strikes. And That's another ball. ball. Two. two balls, two strikes. Punch out there, one away. Here's Rowdy Telez. I'm liking what I've seen from him at the dish lately, working on a five-game hitting streak. Center field, Thomas gets under it. Snags it for the second out. Two outs, bases empty. And now the catcher comes up to him, Henry Davis. Throws the first in time. What a play, inning over. New inning getting started. Here's the catcher, Gabriel Moreno. Gabriel Moreno. Jones back to work. That's outside. And that is ball one. Way high. Hello. The wind to kick the 2 0. And that one fouled off. 
The line of the pitch. Basketball for a strike. And that one a little below the knees. And it's three and two. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. And a pitch. On the ground. Leadoff man retired here in the third. This is Corbin Carroll. Went down on strikes his first time through. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against the firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Next to hit, Geraldo Perdomo. The ball. First pitch, and he just misses. Carroll leads off first with one away. Ball. Close, but call the ball. And the count is 2-0. This is the zone, and he gets him to chase. Two ball, one strike. That one Three missing ball, inside. One Rudder takes off. Lifted in the air, out to left. And that'll fall for a base hit. He'll throw to third. Not in time. He's safe. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. On the ground to first. Could be two. To second, that's one. On the to left, and the double play ends the end. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and one left on. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Pirates two and the Diamondbacks one. And we're back as we go to the last of the third. And stepping in is the speedy Leover Piquero. The pitch. And off that's the plate, off ball one. the inside edge. Ball one. Right through there for a strike. And another ball. Two balls, one strike. The pitch. Swings through that one for strike two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the first out. Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball and then the outer black. Man, sometimes you just got to take your cap. Keep Ryan Hayes. We'll hit next. Score the first run of the game back in the first after a single to reach base. Ripped to short. Tosses to first. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Now right field. Two outs, base is empty. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Andrew McCutcheon. He's already homered in this game. Into the outfield, base hit. And with the inning still alive, here comes the heart of the order. Everything came together for him. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front of him. Didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Liner, base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. But went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Oh, yeah. then ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall. There aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. On the ground to third. Nice grab. Got Pretty nice play out. there. Pirates strand a couple as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. Concentrate in my 
Violence gift like for better change. Back here at PNC Park. All set for the start of the inning. Here's Jack Peterson. The pitch. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. And the 1-0. And ball, another ball. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, Aye. ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. The wind of the pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tie them up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. And now it's filled up. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. It's tough after falling behind a hitter and two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Walker stands in here, takes ball one low. That misses the zone. Now 2-0. Two balls, no strike. Tying run is at first. Top half of inning number four. Swings, fouls it off, and he breaks his back. And that one fouled off. And now two and two. And now this is inside. On this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. And a swing and a miss. What happened? Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just punched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Guriel stands in now and watches strike one. In the air, left field. Reynolds gets under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder now, now, coming now. open instead of staying closed. Hey, if he hey, does yo, yo. that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. So digging in, a Eugenio Suarez. And he's already singled in this game. And what the first up? pitch misses for ball one. Wouldn't ball chase two. that time. First strike and a count to and one. Good oh, eye in that spot. Three one is on the way. And a ground ball to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One left for the Diamondbacks. And they trail it here two to one. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Connor Joe. As the lefty gets to work, Jack Swing went around, and that's strike one. one. A little out front there as he swings through it. And here it comes. Three. Swings and misses. Pulled the string of the changeup. Well, he made pretty quick work of him right there. You look at the sequence. Everything down at the knees and below. And some guys are good low ball hitters, but right there, they clearly had a plan to pound that part of the zone, and he wasn't able to put up much of a fight. He 
Here's the center fielder, Jack Sawinski. His first at bat was a strikeout. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Blobber to right field, way back, gone! A gigantic blast. His second home run of the series, and they tack on to their lead. It's 3-1. He's swinging a red-hot bat. This isn't the first home run we've seen him hit these last few games, and it probably won't be the last. an excellent swing all the way around and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the bat's been carried it out of here. And here's the first baseman, Rowdy Telez. Pitch in the dirt, and it's 1-0. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Ball inside. And now two and two. two Base is empty, two one strike. away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Three. Got him. Two out. Now bad. Here's good, the good. Pirates catcher now, Henry Davis. He's good. over for one. ball walker he takes it himself to the bag and that'll do it but the solo shot stretches their lead even further it's now a 3-1 ball game this is pirates baseball on the show pittsburgh back here in pittsburgh and now the center fielder alec thomas Boog, this guy's just a tremendously talented center fielder. Gold glove caliber type out there. Offensively, he can do some things, but you know, also has some streakiness as well. I think the key is just trying to find a way for him to be consistent day in and day out. You know, he saves runs in the outfield, so that's going to buy him more time to work things out at the dish. The pitch timer expired before he started his windup, so that's a ball. That must be incredibly frustrating for the pitcher, but this is all about creating more action and speeding up the game, and it's working. The 1 0. Strike hey. one. Well, interesting strategy one there. Ball, he break. must have seen something after that first pitch, didn't attempt to bunt, but here on the second one, he does. Ball two. And yeah, that's a little bit high. And yeah, the count two and one. You know, these D-backs need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. Just one extra base hit for them, so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the play. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. That misses, and now it's three and two. to the at-bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on it for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. That one fouled off. One down, base is empty. Close one doesn't get the call. And the count even one and one. 
out to center. That one gets down for a hit. So the one out hit turns the lineup over. Well, those kind of lucky soft hits will always make you smile. Just a simple soft liner in the center field for the knock right there. Maybe a little bit fooled by the pitch, but he did a good job of staying through it. And that allowed him to fight it off and just get it up behind him. Now it's the right fielder, Corbin Carroll. One for two. Carroll measures five feet, ten inches, 23 years old. And he's a former rookie of the year. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Pretty smart not to serve something up for him right there. He's really good at hitting the first pitch. And that one ripped to left. Squeezes it. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it. But sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Geraldo Perdomo, the next to hit. Right through there for a strike. To the right side, Aguero. The throw to first, and the inning is over. One left for Arizona, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. You know how it goes, 1-1-2-1-2. One, one, two, one, two. That was the zip code, December 27 was the birth of the Canada, the Met fan born in the home. Ready to go for the last go. half of the inning. Right. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Leomar Paguero. The pitch. Yeah. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. All one's the count. And that is cut on and missed. And it's 0-2. No well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. you got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Oh, that one. misses. And the count, 1-2. One one two. Two I don't count. think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Just off three. the outside part of the plate. Well, <laughs> I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but... He looked a little shocked for a second there. Swings through it for the K. He swung over top of the curveball. Well, I don't think there's a hitter alive that has it at now some point right. succumbed to that pitch right there. It just looks like it's in the zone the entire way. And then the top spin and gravity take over in the blink of an eye. And it's just such a tough pitch to lay off of. Pays ball, up to hit for the third time as he lays off inside ball one. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss as he was out front. One and one. That one in the dirt, two and two. Fights it off, you'll see another. Just misses with that one. And that's a base hit in the left field. He forced a lot of pitches to be thrown and ends up collecting a hit. Couldn't have timed it out any better than that. Nice line drive and full side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Man at first. Up next for the Pirates, Andrew McCutcheon. He's already homered here in this one. Oh, 
He swings and misses at the first pitch. Four one. one. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. At the belt and fires. And that's outside. One and two to count. And a pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Here's the left fielder, Ryan Reynolds. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And that drops in for a strike. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit than this at bat just off the outside edge and that's ball one the one one is fouled off and he deals that There's one Bolton. just misses. Hayes off the first with two away. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Lead runner gets the stop sign in third. It's a two out double, second and third now. will be the cleanup hitter, O'Neill Cruz. And that's in there at the knees. Oh, two man. outs, two in scored position. Last half of inning number five. Fastball for a strike. And the count is 0-2. And, and a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Way inside, gets out of the way. And a pitch. Base hit, one run in already. In there safely. And they lead by four. Nicely done. Brings home two. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Jordan Montgomery is done, and he's not going to be happy with himself. New pitcher on the mound in a moment. So out of the pen for the Diamondbacks, Kyle Nelson. And if you dig into his walk rate, his numbers are really impressive. He's really filled up the strike zone this season, so these batters better be ready to swing the bats. Runner at first with two away. To the plate now for Pittsburgh is the DH, Connor Joe. He might want to steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. Back well, to off the, the plate, plate that time. All the adrenaline's pumping right there. Pretty good fastball. Unfortunately, he got away from him. He's going to have to corral things a little bit. Two outs. And there's a foul ball. Swung on, back to Thomas running hard to get it. And in one hops the wall. 
Flying around third is Cruz. He scores, and the lead is up to five. He was all over that one. Double into the gap, and that was a really nice swing to beat the inside pitch. Just beat him with a spot. Kept his hands tight inside that baseball, and that just allowed him to drive it into the alley right there. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Jack Sawinski. Big swing and a miss. All one's the count. In for a strike. Oh, two oh, two. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left-handers like the ball down and in. Here comes a pinch. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. They limit the damage here. Three runs on four hits, no errors, and one left off. We're through five. It's the Pirates six and the Diamondbacks one. And we're back. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. Cattell Marte. And the right hater back to work. That one ripped. That's back there. That's not coming back. Cattell Marte goes deep. Home run number 15 on the year. And they cut into the lead. It's 6-2. That home run narrows the gap between these two. This one isn't over yet. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. And Jack Peterson stands in. And a liner out into right center for a base hit. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. We've all seen the defensive shift make a big difference in defending against pull hitters, but it's not foolproof. He pulled it as expected, but he found a hole that time. Now let's see if they can string something together, make it a little more interesting. Christian Walker stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Walker hitting better against right-handers this year, so some reverse splits there. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in place somewhere, then you got a chance. Peterson gets his lead at first. Nobody out. That's down and in. Swing and a miss. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And it's Lourdes Guriel Jr. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. That hey. one's in there. One one. One run across in the frame so far. And we're the top half of the sixth. That one's upstairs, ball one. Going to count one and two. Double play ball to second, Aguero. There's one. Out. Now the throw to first on the run. They get the out, and that'll do it. But not before they answer back with a solo home run. Now a 6-2 ball game. of the six at the plate for Pittsburgh. Rowdy Telez. Nelson back to work. 
Pitch oh, misses there. One and oh. You know, these Pirates really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. The numbers paint a pretty clear picture. The offense likes playing with fire today. Seven of their hits have come oh, off a of fastball, so that tells me their timing Two is pretty ball. locked no in play. right now. The why to kick the pitch. Aye. And a swing and a miss. Two so ball. with that one fastball break. approach in mind, it'll be interesting to see if we see any adjustments in terms of the pitch calling and Clearly, there's been a need to mix it up a little bit more than that. And that one hammered. I'm just moving back. Going down. He sends it out of here. And they add on. It's 7-2. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come your swing. He stayed on it. Henry Davis, the next pirate to hit. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Nobody on, nobody out here in the bottom of the sixth. Yeah. And a strike in there. Breaking oh, ball inside. Side. Now one and two. And a pitch. That's that misses. Ball. And it's two and two. <laughs> And yep. another ball. The pitch. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball. And I'm not sure he was trying now, to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location. He found a way to just get it by him. And a foul ball. One out, base is empty, and a run in here in the second game of the series. Three. And down on strikes, and two away now. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach just frustrating for him up there. If you strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Fair ball! Didn't exactly square that one up, but sometimes you don't have to. That's one of those things where, as a hitter, you kind of feel like you're due for something like that to drop in for you, no matter how good or bad you've been swinging the bat as a blade. And he just fought it off and dropped it in there perfectly. And now it's going to be Andrew McCutcheon. Hayes, the runner at first with two gone. Step off, throw to first. Right. Hayes gets back easily. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. One and ball, ball one. Two strikes. Got him. Right. Next okay. offering upstairs. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score.
second home run of the game, and they add a couple more. It's 9-2. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Blue. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dip. in this if bad was very patient. Yeah. Ryan Thompson gets handed the rock out of the pen. He's into the game with the bases empty. Two outs, nobody on. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Brian Reynolds. Hammer, base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Next to bat will be the Pittsburgh cleanup hitter, O'Neill Cruz. One for three. Swing and a miss as he was late. 0 oh 1. That one is absolutely belted. Way back there. That'll make it out of here. Their third home run of the inning. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 11 to 2. That's their fifth homer of the game. Man, they're all getting into the action. It's starting to feel like a home run derby up here. The low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spot. If you know it, you can hit that. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Connor Joe, the next pirate to hit. Out to short, Perdomo. To first, ends the inning after they racked up a bunch of runs. I'm tired of these guys saying the same lines and playing the same game the same way through the times. Can things change? Realize the fame games that are mine. You playing Jane's got to find a new lane for the drive. Hey, word to Nas, I'm shooting for the stars. I label with them bars, win against all odds. Because they don't see the greatness till you show them you the man. They're filling up the stands, it's win against all odds. Because they end up the beat. Back here at PNC Park, and yeah, the batter now, the Eugenio is. Suarez. Eugenio Suarez. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Just missed. Pitch misses inside, ball two. And the right hander deals. And that one is lifted in the air. That gets down for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Alec Thomas getting ready to hit. Thomas having a lot more success on the road this season. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Jared Jones won't go any further tonight, and he leaves with the lead after giving them some decent innings. We'll be back with a new pitcher in a moment. New pitcher on here, Jose Hernandez. Well, he's been a bit of a wild card out there in terms of throwing strikes. He's definitely struggled with free passes this year. Ball for a strike. That one, one not close. And that's ball one. Nobody out. Runner at first. That oh. one missed. Way three outside. And now three balls. 
and a strike. Payoff pitch. Three. Got him swinging. Well, it can be so tough as a hitter to pull yourself out of an extended slump, yeah, one that lasts for several games, even a week or more. You know, right now, he's really in one, so I'm sure his mind is all over the place, racing, having a hard time sleeping, trying to figure out what can get him back on track, back to feeling more comfortable and settled in in the box. And at first, Gabriel Moreno stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Down the middle for a strike. It's 0 1. Just missed. Ball. I got a ball, one strike. And now 2 and 1. Nasty backdoor slider. Balls, There's really nothing strike. you can do with that if you swing at it, so that's a good take by him. Fly ball, center field. Makes the grab. Now bad right field. So the lineup flips over. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Corbin Carroll. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. And he hits a ground ball nope. right side ball. and foul ball. Here's the 0-2. That's towards center. Sawinski under it. He's there. He's got it. And that'll do it. One left for the Diamondbacks. That won't help much. It's 11-2. Welcome back to the ballpark. Set for the last half of the seventh. Here's the center fielder, Jack Sawinski. The pitch. On the ground to the left. And it goes just foul. And he'll one. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. <laughs> foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Just Ball missed. Ball. And there's a ball. Right-handed reliever. Hot shot to third. Suarez throw to first in time. One up, one down. So up next, Rowdy Telez. Jake McCarthy, and he'll be out there at center after the injury. Number 31. One gone runner at first. And here's the catcher, Henry Davis. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. Fought off foul. Man at first, one away. Wings and last one deep to left center. That's back there. 
See you later. One run number 15 on the year. And they add to the lead. It's 13-2. He's really seeing the ball well lately. Good things are going to happen when you're locked in like this. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that ball. They turn things over to the southpaw, Joe Mantiply. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. And now, Leover Paguero. Ball one. That's off the mark. Ball one. Ball one. Mantiply, a former All-Star. He features a sinker, a curb, a changeup, and he works in a four-seamer. Base hit. So the batting order turns over, and now the Pirates leadoff man, Keith Ryan Hayes. Ground ball left side could be two. Throws the first in time. Now back, right field, Andrew. Now the number two hitter, Andrew McCutcheon. And the way he's going in this one, we've been waiting for his spot to come around again. All right, listen, everyone. Stop what you're doing right now. This guy's got two home runs already. Now he's going for number three. Out towards right center field. McCarthy on the move. But it's the right fielder that gets there to make the catch. And that'll do it. Another look at this two-run homer for Pittsburgh. Eighth inning coming up. You're watching Pirates Baseball on the show Pittsburgh. Back here in Pittsburgh, ready to begin the eighth. Now it's the shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. Perdomo. And a pitch. Hernandez goes six feet, three inches. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and he works in a two-seamer. 2-0. Bounced out to short. Cruz. One up, one down. Pittsburgh doesn't often get enough praise as a baseball town, but you think of all the greats who have been pirates, like Hannes Wagner, Willie Stargell, Roberto Clemente, it's pretty amazing. Base hit. And talking about that Pittsburgh history, Boo, don't forget the great the Negro Pittsburgh leaguers of the Pittsburgh Crawfords and Homestead Grays. Satchel John. Page, Josh Gibson, Paul Papa Bell, Oscar Charleston, Count Buck Leonard. Leonard. The list just goes on and on. Eight. That's in there. And the count one and one. Ground ball to the right side. One at second. Out. What a double play that was. Inning over. This one pretty well decided at this point. Whole half of inning number eight straight ahead. Pittsburgh leads this one 13 to 2. <laughs> On to the bottom of the eighth. Now the left fielder, Brian Reynolds. The pitch. Foul ball there. And the 0 1. Ball and one. it skips in the dirt. Kicks and deals. Sliced hard, but foul. Bad and swinging for the strikeout. 
And him out front for strike three. Well, that's such a critical pitch in terms of execution out there. The pitcher has to finish it. Otherwise, it probably gets hit pretty hard. If you leave that out over the plate or you don't get it down enough, quickly turns into something that gets smoked. But if you can place it where he did, it's a really deceptive pitch. Cruz, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. One down, base is empty. Not even close there. And it's one and two. The shortstop oh, takes the ball. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, Three. and make it an easy out. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. No bad, Two outs, no bases empty. And yeah, next is the designated hitter, Connor Joe. Yeah. On the ground to third. On to first. Oh. Three up, three down, inning over. All set to start the ninth in this one. And now the first baseman, Christian Walker. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Strike two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Gosh, here it is. Hit it. Three pitch strikeout. All fastballs. Man, he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch right now. Guriel ah. in the box now. No balls and a strike. That one finds the zone. Oh, and the dude. count is 0 and 2. Three. Struck him out swinging. Now only one out remaining. Now, Eugenio Suarez digs in now. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Hey, seven straight strikes to start the frame. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. They're down to their final strike. All right, there's number eight, one away. Hernandez is just one strike away. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Man, so close to the immaculate inning as that foul ball spoils it. He's pounding the zone right now, though. Oh, and they're nope. going to tag the pitcher with a pitch clock violation. That's an automatic ball. The pitcher must begin his motion before the pitch timer runs out. We're looking for a little more urgency out there. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on the wall. You just can't forget your first save. And the final, 13-2. Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Shambi saying so long.